Okay, so this idea happened uh, on the video where I was showing these. These are the beast blades. Uh, somebody asked, are you going to run the cheetah with six blades on it in the X formation, you know, the X blade formation? And that's coming from a video that I did with, with six gator blades. And my first reaction was, no, I, I wasn't going to do that, and, uh, but I, that's a good idea. And so I was saying, yeah, I, I think I might want to try that. Now, uh, when we were talking in the comments section, John Cavley uh, chimed in on that thread and said, there is no reason in the world to do that. And I would agree that these blades here, the beast blades, are so serious that there's no reason to run them in an X formation um, because it would just be overkill. And so I said, I agree, but I'm going to do that anyway, because you got to, you know, it's one of those things. And anyway, I was planning on doing that, and this is how I was going to set them up. With the uh, beast blade on the bottom, which is on the top, and then uh, the finisher blade on top of that, cross them that way, and bolt the whole thing down, so that the beast blade is hanging farther down, um hopefully, you know, close to even with the finisher blade. Anyway, there's no reason to do this at all now because fast forward a few months and in the mail I got these. Look at that. My goodness. This these are what we're going to call these is finisher X dash stream or X dash stream extreme get it like an X because man look at that it's all one piece so a lot of people were saying that you have to use these little brackets in the X formation because otherwise they'll wander it really wouldn't matter if they wandered anyway because they would wander uh, proportionally but when I did this with the uh, gator blades they, they didn't move and I really don't think they would move anyway. But you can you can get these brackets that lock it into the X formation. But if it's all one piece, you don't need to do that. And just as thick as the uh, finisha and the beast blade. I don't know if the beast blade is a thicker metal or not. I don't know. But it's thick. It's not going to. This isn't going to break. And look at this. It's like laser cut or something. Anyway, this should do the trick, shouldn't it? Uh, let's go slap them on. We've got the cheetah all set. Go slap them on there. These are 21 inch solid X blades. And we're going to get them on the cheetah and see what they look like and spin them up. Okay, so they're all on there now. Look at that. I mean, wow. Look at that. And we're about to give it the first try. Offhand, I'm not sure how I would balance these if they're out of balance. So I'm hoping they're balanced, and, well, let's do it.
Okay, actually, yep, they seem nice and balanced, and man, um, I just reviewed the footage. Good grief. Scary. But, I mean, no reason for it to be scary. It's just a bunch of blades. So now what we got to do is go out and find some thick, crazy tall grass and just film a bunch of mowing. So let's go do that. 